Okay, let's see if it'll work this time because the uh, flash keeps going on. Um, this is the um, watermelon pectin that is left over from the first three batches. I did a batch which was all pulp, which was the entire watermelon. I did a batch which was half pulp, it was the entire watermelon, so half of it was um, ground up in the osterizer and half of it was just the um, cubed watermelon. Um, and then the third batch was just, it was all the rind, but um, it was not ground up at all. And actually that third batch, um, there was no reaction whatsoever. There was no pectin visible. Um, so grinding it up actually creates a great deal more of the pectin. Um, now I wanted to show you the difference. I did a, uh, a test batch um, with not much sugar and a little bit of acid and it is completely liquid. There's no gelling whatsoever, none. Um, this is apricot, these are apricot juice. Um, the batch that I did with more sugar, there were actually, was actually um, six, I believe it was six cups of sugar and um, half a cup of lemon for apricot. That's a standard recipe. And it's more like a thick syrup. It's, it's gelled, but it's not completely gelled. And I'm going to, I'm just, I've got two bottles of this in the refrigerator, so. Um, I'm just waiting to see if it gels more. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I combined all three of the batches and the um, this was the original pectin test and I don't know if you can see this. It's kind of, it's hard to see. Um, this is the alcohol. It's, um, there it goes. Now you can see it a little bit better. Um, this is 70% isopropyl alcohol, and it, I put one teaspoon of the pectin in before I started before I started cooking it down. So it was from this batch. So you can see the pectin developing. Um, this was the the liquid was completely clear when I put it in the alcohol. So that um, sh theoretically all of that cloudiness should be pectin. It's actually showing a great deal of pectin activity. Um, and so I am cooking it down now. And when this is cooked down to about half, I will test it again. And then I will try to make another batch of uh, apricot jelly. Now I'm using apricot because it doesn't have a lot of acid in it. It has acid, but it doesn't have a lot. Um, it needs added acid in order to create the pectin. Um, to create the pectin reaction and um, it doesn't have very much pectin of, of its own. So that's why I'm using the apricot. Um, as soon as I have another update, I will let you know.